Um, I like the atrium where all the former presidents and the former first ladies um, walk the White House. They have pictures oh, and yeah. stuff in the atrium. And I also like the green room because that's where I shook the first lady and President Biden's hand. Wow. <laughs> A chance meeting outside the White House leads to a unique friendship and visits back for the past four years. During a pandemic work layoff, Shanina Meeks asked her then eight-year-old son, Jonas, if he could do anything, what would it be? Well, he said he wanted to go to the White House. So they took a road trip to D.C., assumed it would just be, you know, photo ops from outside. Ask a man near the White House during their visit if he knew the best spot for that sort of thing. Well, he happened to be a historian with the White House. So that chance meeting led to a tour inside that trip and a special friendship with invitations back every year for the Easter egg roll and most recently on Saturday for the grand opening of the new White House replica next door called the People's House. White House experience. So on the morning show this today, Rhonda and Jason sat down with this impressive seventh grader and equally impressive mother. We'll walk through what this weekend was like. What did you yes. do there? Um, so as we both know, I was invited to her ceremony as my friend Mr. Stewart opened the People's House, which is a experience where kids get to go and would experience what the White House will actually be like. Okay. Because not everybody gets the opportunity to go in the White House. So I was invited to the ceremony to open it. I was one of the first kids to see what it was like. And yeah, that's what I did this weekend. So nice. tell me, uh, so this is kind of a replica of the White House, a way yes. to learn about the history, which mm -hmm. is so rich and amazing. So tell, is it just for kids or is it adults too? Or is it really geared towards helping kids have that experience? Everybody is welcome, but it's more towards the kids being able to experience what the White House is like. Because going into the White House is like a lottery ticket. It's not <laughs> something yeah, that everybody gets. Yeah. Yes. So it's more towards the kids learning history about what the White House is, what it looks like, um, what you can do in the White House, what the rooms look like, everything that any kid would want to learn wow. or experience. Yeah. Okay, so do you have a favorite room or place or a part of the White House yet? Um, yes. That you're an expert? Yes. <laughs> yeah. um, I like the atrium where all the former presidents and the former first ladies um, walk the White House. They have pictures oh, yeah. and stuff in the atrium. And I also like the green room because that's where I shook the first lady and President Biden's hand wow. in that same room. That is just Very cool. amazing experiences. And we saw a picture of you there with President Barack Obama's photo as well. Mm -hmm, yes. um, Shanina, talk about your son. Um, <laughs> Do some mom bragging here. <laughs> okay. um, he, he is a special young man. He really is. He's uh, really amazing. And then, you know, people pick up on it the first moment they meet him. And so um, it's been quite the experience watch for me watching him. Um, um, Get these grow and go. He's been going to the White House since he was eight years old. So Incredible. it's been an amazing journey. He is right now holding a 4.0 in school, so he's just doing great. And so I'm super proud of him. And then you never know what celebrity you're going to meet there. Last year, <laughs> I met Holly Bailey. <laughs> yes. Yes. Nice. So you never know who you're going to meet there. There's always somebody there. That's somebody cool. gets invited. And you might catch the president. You never know. <laughs> so how has this set you up? Has this inspired you uh, for your future goals? Uh when I grow up, I want to be a businessman. I want to do a lot of things when I get older. Um, I want to, I told my mom I wanted to play in a couple movies. I want to be in mortuary science. There's a lot of things I want to do. But again, as I told you guys before the show, I don't know if that's going to change as I get older, but that's what I currently have my mind set on. And I do want to be the president of the United States. I was going to say, don't give up on the big <laughs> Wow. The mortuary science surprised me. <laughs> you know what? Though? It seems like he can do anything, right? Yeah, absolutely. He sets his mind to it. It's really so impressive. impressive. Yeah, I know. I love it. By the way, White House Replica is a large interactive full-scale model that includes an Oval Office, Rose Garden, and other scenic and historic representations. Officially open to the public today, and it's going to be open uh, seven days a week from 9 to 5, admissions free. The public is advised to reserve some passes in advance if they want to check that out at, uh, on the website, thepeopleshouse.org. And once you're there, as he said, you never know you who never you're going to You never know who you're going to see. So great.